Chapel of Forge. So today we're going to do a video on how to assemble the Victoria strainer. Um, a few people have asked me about this, whether they have their grandmas or they found one at a yard sale. You can still get them new too, of course. Um, they can be a little confusing. There's kind of a lot of parts. Um, so Bud is like my master Victorio strainer assembler. So he's going to be my helper during this video. We use this primarily for applesauce. We used to use it for tomato sauce, um, but I've since found a much easier way to do it using my Vitamix. So I'll probably do a video on that once I get another good haul of tomatoes out of the garden. So, but if you want to do applesauce, you can watch my video. Um, a few weeks back about how to do applesauce and we use the strainer in that so today we'll show you how to get it put together okay hi guys i am bud and today i'll be showing you how to set up your victorio so um uh, what you'll need is your victorio a um small bowl or a um big bowl like this for the scraps that come out of the victorio um you'll also need another big bowl for all of your good stuff so say we're making applesauce this is where the applesauce would go um and then we also need a bar stool depending on how high your countertop is um some of this could vary depending on what your kitchen is set up like so bud's yeah. going to show you the piece of wood and the clamp does have a purpose he's going to show you why we have to use the piece of wood and the clamp and you may have this situation you may not you may be able to just put it right onto your countertop depending on what your setup is yes yeah, so because i think our countertop's maybe too thin i'm not sure yeah but yeah. uh yeah so uh, the wood goes on your countertop like this, and then you can use a C-clamp or you can use um, clamps like this one. But so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start getting it set up. So you're going to pull out your base, and I like to do this so I don't clamp down, then I put it on and see that it doesn't fit. Okay, so I like to put the base down first, and then, or put the piece of wood down, and then put the base on the wood. And then underneath here, it's a little screw, and then tighten it. Once that's nice and snug on there, I'm going to uh, kind of stick this out just a little bit, not too far. And then come back, we're going to take our clamp, put it on the wood and the counter, and tighten it. Okay, now that that's nice and snug and secure on there, we're going to, um, uh, no, put that on later. Okay. We're going to need our auger, our spring, handle, shaft, gasket, our um, uh, fly nut, and wing nut. Wing nut, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure what to call this. Okay, so once you have all your parts, take our shaft. We're going to put our spring on Mommy. like that, and then we're going to take our collar okay. over top of our spring. And it should look something like that. Then we're going to take the shaft, stick it inside of there, like that. And then we're going to take our auger, and you can kind of see it has like that square shape inside, just like the end of this. And we're going to stick it on, like so. And then we're going to take our handle, and you can kind of see it also has a square shape with like the rounded edges. And you're going to line that up there with our shaft. And then take the wing nut. <clears throat> and slide that on just like so and then we're going to take our um screen they have a couple different ones for like uh, different berries and stuff this is just the one that comes with it there's one for pumpkins we've used this for tomatoes berries pumpkins we don't buy the special ones but we do my parents have them we could probably use it but for applesauce which is what we primarily use it for the one that comes with it is for <laughs> you lose parts whatever we'll get another one we're missing a plastic wing nut which would typically go right here. You can see the one that's on this side. So not a big deal, we'll get another one. Bud's gonna continue on with how to whistle. Okay, so now we're going to take our um, screen here, make sure that your gasket is in, and then slide it over top like that. And then uh, typically if we have both wing nuts, we would put um, the other one of these on this side and tighten it down, but we'll get another one. Then we're going to take our hopper and it just slides in nicely like that. And then uh, we're going to take our chute and you can see it has this bump out here. The bump out goes towards you like that. And then yeah, now you're good to go. So you use your plunger then to um, uh, push down your tomatoes or um, And apples. if you watch our applesauce video, you'll see it in action. But yeah. basically you put your whatever you want to mill up here 
it comes through here. The screen, this is what you want your extra bowl for. So the screen will push the junk out into the bowl. The good stuff comes down into this bowl. Um, and then that's pretty much it. And the biggest thing is just that you clean everything. Um, we've had some things rust just because we were like, you know how it is at the end of a canning day, you know, you're busy and tired and you just sit it in the box without drying it. So that's the biggest thing that we found with me. I hope this helped you learn how to put your Victoria strand together it is an amazing tool like i said we primarily use it for applesauce at this point but if we didn't have it to do applesauce i mean applesauce would be such a pain so while we don't use it a ton it is an amazing tool to have in your canning tools arsenal um and if you have any questions about how to put it together if you have like a different model that maybe something varies or whatever um and you're not sure what to do let us know we can try to help you out and so this is bud you can watch his channel at buds outfitters on youtube you can follow along with all of our stuff at chapelhillforge.com with our homesteading resources tab and we post a video every tuesday and friday on youtube so we hope this was helpful mm -hmm.